Fight the law, and the law wins. Bend the law, and you've got yourself a warp drive. Ever since humans have looked up at the stars, we have dreamed of taking our place among them. But there's one small problem. Space is huge. The universe itself is 28.5 gigaparsecs from end to end, and I don't even know what that is. I just know it's really big. All right, but why don't we just go faster? Well, we have this little issue with the universal speed limit. That's the speed of light. Nothing can go faster than the speed of light. Even if we could travel at that speed, and we can't, it would still take us years to get to the closest star. Science fiction writers solved this problem by inventing a plot device, the warp drive, a gadget that magically transports a ship across vast, empty reaches of space faster than the speed of light. It's a good thing, too, because without it, the only thing Captain Kirk would have boldly gone to is our cosmic backyard. So. It sure is sad that the warp drive is just a work of fiction. Or is it? A few theories have been proposed that might actually, well, work. One that has both nerds and scientists excited is known as the Alcubierre theory. Instead of trying to beat the speed of light, which is physically impossible, the Alcubierre drive would warp space-time itself. The idea is this device, which would look kind of like a football with a ring of negative mass surrounding it, would be able to contract space-time ahead of it and expand space-time behind it, thereby traveling through space at 10 times the speed of light while keeping general relativity intact. Think of it like a map with point A to point B, and instead of having to trace your finger across, you just fold the map over so the two points are next to each other. There is one small issue. It has a pretty enormous mass energy requirement. The original theory stated you would need the mass of Jupiter. That's right, the planet. And when you take Einstein's equation E equals mc squared, that is a ridiculous amount of energy, more than any source could ever provide. But there's some good news. In 2012, Harold Sonny White, a NASA engineer and physicist, said that by tinkering with this theory a little bit, we could bring that mass energy requirement way down. You could change the shape of that ring of negative mass and get the requirement to about 700 kilograms. And now we're talking. White led a team of engineers over at NASA to build what is known as the Judae White Warp Field Interferometer which is just as interesting to look at as it sounds. It's a beam-splitting interferometer that measures tiny warps and maybe even induces them into space-time. It's not anything that's gonna get us over to the Andromeda galaxy anytime soon, but it's a start. So, Lieutenant Sulu, let's punch it. Okay, there's still some things we need to work out. First, we don't know the negative mass actually exists. There's some evidence that it does, but we've never directly observed it. On top of that, while the mass energy requirement is much lower than Jupiter, it's still incredibly high. 700 kilograms of mass energy represents way more energy than even the most powerful atomic bomb ever detonated. But these problems are not necessarily insurmountable, and some scientists think this technology will be a reality within 100 years. Imagine that. We'll be able to travel the universe at 10 times the speed of light. If you remember our episode about Proxima b, when I said it would take us at least 44 years to get a look, with this technology, we could be there in no time. We would become a transgalactic species, and we could boldly go where no human has gone before. Well, I've got a question for you guys this week. Do you think this technology will become reality within a century? Why or why not? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring our show and making it possible. If you enjoyed this episode, why don't you hit that little like button down there and join the Forward Thinking Think Tank by subscribing to our channel. Then set your warp drives to factor five and head over here for some more videos. 